Color correction is a little bit different to color grading. Color correction is all about correcting the footage to get it closer to the way it looked with the naked eye. Color grading is more about creating a look or a mood with the colors and creating a feeling in your shot. In this video, I'm going to go over five color correction tips in Final Cut Pro. So I've got this shot of an old man in his art studio and straight out of camera, it looks pretty bad. So let's jump into the first of the five color correction tips, which is to correct your white balance. I'm going to show you two ways. By selecting the clip, you can hit Command Alt B and that will apply the balance color effect to your shot. And if I go ahead and change method from automatic to white balance, I get this eyedropper tool that I can use to select an area of pure white. This wall over here should be pure white, so I'm going to select that. So you'll notice the shot is a little bit less magenta. It's gone a little bit more to the green side and it looks better already, but it's not perfect. I find that this balance color method works sometimes, but not every time. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and I'll show you the second way to correct your white balance. Go ahead and select the crop tool over here. Make sure crop is selected and not trim and then crop this down until you've got an area of pure white that fills the frame. Something like that should do and I'll hit done. Now, if you have a look at your vector scope over here, you'll notice that this little dot is not quite in the center and the center is white. If you don't have your scopes up, you can hit command seven to show and hide them. And then you can change your display settings over here in the view menu. With the clip selected, I'll hit command six to bring up my color wheels. And here I can adjust the temperature and tint slider to get what should be pure white right into the center of my vector scope. If this little dot is too small, one thing you can do is just boost the saturation just to make this a little bit bigger. And then you can go ahead and adjust your temperature slider and your tint slider until you get that dot right in the middle. That looks pretty good to me. So I'll head back over to my inspector view and I'll uncheck the crop properties to reveal my full shot. Obviously we've oversaturated this now. So I'll go back to my color wheels and I'll just double click on the saturation slider to set it back to default. The second color correction tip is to correct your black and white levels. In other words, the brightness or the exposure of the shot. To do that, I'm going to add a new color wheels adjustment and I'm going to boost the highlights, probably boost the overall brightness of the shot a little bit. I'll boost the midtones just to get more information in the midtone area here. And then I'm going to drop the shadows back down to around zero. Let's take a quick look at what we've done so far. This was the original shot. This is after correcting the white balance, and this is after correcting the black and white levels. The third color correction tip is to correct the contrast. I know we've already adjusted the contrast by fixing the black and white levels, but this is the step where you really want to dial in that contrast to get some separation between your subject and the background. I find that the best way to take control of my contrast is to use a color curves adjustment. And over here on the Luma curve, we're going to drop the shadows a little bit and we're going to boost the highlights and we'll play around with that until we get something that we like. In the process, we've lost some saturation. So I'll go ahead and add another color wheels correction and I'm just going to boost the overall saturation a little bit. The fourth color correction tip is to correct the skin tones. To do that, I'm going to use the second method I used to correct the white balance again to isolate the skin tones. So I'll turn this crop back on and I'll go and select my crop tool and then I'm going to move the square over his skin. I'll make it smaller. I'll hit done. And now his skin fills the screen. Generally, you want your skin tones to lie on the skin tone indicator line. And in this case, it already looks pretty good, but I might want to tweak it a little bit. In order to do that, I'm going to go back to my color adjustments and I'm going to add another color wheels adjustment. The skin tones lie in the mid tones. So I'm just going to push the skin a little bit more towards orange. And as you can see on the vector scope, if I go further, it's making it super orange and super saturated. I don't want that. So I'll just reset that and bring it in a little bit. I just want to make those skin tones nice and warm. I'll head back to my video properties and I'll uncheck this crop so we can see what it looks like. This was before we made the correction to the skin tone. And this is after we've made that correction. The fifth and final color correction tip is to balance the tones in the scene. In this case, I have a lot of red in the shadows. So I'll come over to my color adjustments I'll add another color wheels and in the shadows, I'm going to move this away from red just so we don't have so much red and purple in the shadows in the background. I might also even desaturate the shadows a little bit 
just so that they don't stand out too much and we have more focus on the subject in our scene. After applying those five color correction tips, we are now ready to color grade the shot. I have some color grading videos on the channel about manually creating certain looks, but for this one, let's just apply a LUT to the shot. I'll head over to my effects browser, search for custom LUT and I'll drop that onto my clip. Then I'll go over to my video properties and I'll select a LUT from the drop down menu. Let's go with something from the LUT Master Pack, which is part of the Cine Punch bundle. And we'll look at one of these LUT presets. One more time, let's go through all the changes that we've made. So this is the shot straight out of camera. Then we corrected the white balance. Then we corrected the black and white levels. Then we corrected the contrast. Then we corrected this guy's skin tone. Then we corrected the balance of color in the shot. And lastly, we finished it up with a quick color grade. I hope you enjoyed these five color correction tips in Final Cut Pro. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, and I'll see you in the next one.